right, true love starts with you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. A little bit of technology glitch. I realized there was something I could not go live from my Zoom room. Played and played and played and here I am in a different angle on my cell phone because I want to go live anyway, no matter what the background is and what's happening around. I want to talk about the topic of true love starts with you. It's really True love starts with your own self-care. I'm just going to dive into what exactly do I mean when I say true love starts with me or with you. And in fact, just this morning when I went to uh, my business network group, there was someone who mentioned, I just not feeling it this morning. I don't feel motivated. I just don't want to get up. I snooze my alarm clock. And I kept sleeping and then when I woke, got up from bed, it was too late to even do any kind of meditation, journaling, affirmation or taking care of myself. I just had to go run and do my work. Just ain't feeling it. <laughs> Who has been in this situation? And it's real. yes, we hear this self-care, especially in the last few months is so important, but how do you really do it in the way it's consistent caring of myself in the way that it's like a habit that goes from day in day out and I stay on track whether I feel motivated or not here's a little tip or a little um, trick how to take care of yourself whether you're motivated or not and we'll talk about that so where do you find yourself? What are the situations where you catch yourself? Oh my gosh, I did it again. Is it when you come in late from work and you're just tired and you want to relax and maybe a pint of ice cream sounds so good or dinner is already cooked for you? You're not the one who cooked it. Whatever they are you eating and you know it may not be the best food for you and you're still eating it just because um, people took care of you, they are showing your love, food is ready, you're too hungry and too tired and you just want to take it easy. But then we eat this food, maybe we eat a little much of it and we already know it's not the best choice for us and there's a little judgment or much judgment going on. Or when the kids go to bed and here's all this peace and quiet, hopefully peace and quiet, not in my house. <laughs> and it's just time for yourself. And what do you want to do? You want to relax again. So how does relaxation look? For most of us, it's this comfort foods again that we talked about last week. So where do you catch yourself? What are the situations where you know you need to put yourself kind of priority, but it ain't happening? <laughs> And it's this day in, day out, the same thing over and over. Not feeling motivated to get up in the morning and do anything. So it's really important to understand where we get stuck. Because it's not always we get stuck, right? Especially in the best days where everything is going for us. Those are easy to prioritize ourselves and stuff. We go on vacation or the weekend. Those are easy days. But the days where we're really stressed, where we're overwhelmed, a lot of work, kids are taking our attention, those are the days where we want to take on as a challenge and learn how to prioritize ourselves. And self-care is really not selfish. Sometimes, especially when another, let's say, family member, the close person to you, they start making comments, well, you're taking time to go for a jog and here we are about to do the dinner or but we cooked for you and you want to eat something else. When the close people to you are sabotaging you, sometimes they have positive intentions. They just want to spend time with you. That is really challenging. Or as I mentioned, they cook food for you. You're not the one who is cooking. That is challenging. Or there's just so much to do, you're sitting at the desk a lot of hours, it's challenging to drink enough water that you want to drink or have your meals in the way that you know they're good for you, healthy meals. So in the very challenging days, that's where the best, where we can take this opportunity to practice the self-care. 
So here's an example, and I want you to care if nothing else from this uh, Facebook Live visual, or not visual video, <laughs> visual. Take this. Imagine you're on the plane, and the oxygen masks fall down, and you've got four kids next to you. They're your kids. Just imagine. <laughs> the oxygen mask fall down. Who are you going to put it on first? If you're not sure the answer, have you ever heard the instructions of the flight attendant? Put the oxygen mask on yourself first so you can help others who sit next to you, even if it's your children. Because if you put oxygen mask on the first child, do you think you will have enough life without oxygen to help the rest of your kids? Who are you going to help first? You're going to help first yourself. So if nothing else, I want us to look at this self-care this way. If I am not helping myself, I am not helping anybody else. Neither my family, neither my clients, neither the world and community. By taking care of myself, I am helping others. For those who are really caring people and we want to help others and take care of them first, Think about when you're so sick and tired and overwhelmed and stressed, helping others, are you really giving the best self, the best you to them? Not of course. By depriving yourself, you're depriving others. So the best way we can give to others is to take care of ourselves. Okay? And I really want to, I know I spent all this time talking about it, but that's that why that is so important for us because the why is so big and so crucial that whether I feel motivated or not, I'm going to take care of myself. Imagine, speaking of those little children, you've got the little kid living in you. You're helping the children no matter you want it or not. No matter you feel good or bad or sick or underslept, you're going to help those children. Think about your own living kid, own kid living inside you, that you want to take care of your little kid, whether you feel motivated or not. So if I don't feel motivated to get up in the morning, I'm going to take care of my little kid, get up in the morning, turn my music on, go sing in the shower. I'm going to motivate myself whether I feel motivated or not. Just like I'm going to motivate my own kid who is crying for help. <laughs> so by doing that, by helping myself, I help others. I fill my own cup so I have enough to give to others. This first aspect is the most important when we talk about our stress reduction, self-management, time management, any kind of management that is connected with self. Knowing my big why that is so important that it drives me forward. And number two, having a system to follow to keep myself in that self-care routine or the motivation routine. What is your system? Do you have it? Because when we have a system in the worst days when we wake up and nothing seems to help, at least I have a system to follow and I'm going to do it anyway, just helping my own child who lives inside me. So folks, how do I prioritize myself? First of all, it may sound cliche, but I've got to know why I'm taking care of myself. What is my biggest why? Most likely it's not connected with you as an individual, with you personally. It's something bigger than that. So really dig deep into your why and have a system and do it anyway, whether you feel motivated or not. Think about helping your own child no matter you want it or not, you have a system how to help. And if you want to dig a little deeper or much deeper in this conversation, we have an upcoming workshop, True Love Starts With You, how to prioritize your self-care. This Saturday, I think I already posted a link into uh, 
the um, description. I will see if I can also post it in the comments. This webinar is free. And in this webinar, so I'm using a new format. I'm taking at least one major tool that makes the most transformation for my clients and I'm bringing it to you in the set of workshop. We also have an optional plank challenge and meet and greet before the workshop. That's at 1030. And at 11 o'clock, please join us for diving deep how to prioritize yourself. Again, it is a workshop, so be prepared to really work with me through the system. At the end of workshop, you will actually come out with a plan on action, what to do and how to keep going in your prioritizing your self-care. And we also complete with restorative yoga with Jackie Rowan. This will be this Saturday at 10.30. Workshop starts at 11. The link is in the description and in the comments. I hope to see you there. So how do you prioritize yourself? Know your why, know your system, and follow your system. And again, to dive deeper, we're going to do it this Saturday. And the link to register in the comments, please invite. Feel free to join. Can't wait to see you there. Before you go, please leave me a comment. What resonates with you or resonated with you from this conversation? I always read your comments and respond accordingly. And I will see you soon.